Imagine stepping back nearly 2 million years into a world that was vastly different from anything we know today. A world where Africa was a mosaic of wild landscapes, endless savannas, dense forests, and rivers teeming with life. Towering predators ruled the land, and dramatic climate shifts shaped the fate of every creature struggling to survive. But here's the most astonishing part. Our ancestors weren't alone. We often picture human evolution as a straight path, one species evolving neatly into the next. But the reality is far more chaotic. In this distant past, multiple human species coexisted, each adapting in different ways, competing for resources and testing the limits of survival. Some were small and primitive, barely distinguishable from their ape-like relatives. Others were larger, more intelligent, wielding crude tools that hinted at a mind beyond simple instinct. And then, there was Homo rudolfensis, a species that doesn't quite fit into our expectations. But, here's the most shocking part. After decades of research, scientists still aren't even sure if he belongs in our family tree. Was he a direct ancestor of modern humans? An evolutionary dead end? Or something else entirely? The story of Homo rudolfensis is filled with twists, contradictions, and questions that challenge everything we thought we knew about human origins. Stick with me, because the mystery of rudolfensis might just rewrite the story of where we come from. It all started in 1972, in the relentless heat of Kenya. A team of paleoanthropologists, led by Richard Leakey, was searching near the shores of Lake Turkana, an area already famous for yielding some of the most significant fossils in human history. What they found that day would change everything. Buried beneath layers of ancient sediment was a skull, one unlike anything seen before. Cataloged as KNM ER1470, this fossil wasn't just another addition to the growing collection of hominin remains. It was a puzzle piece that refused to fit. At first glance, the skull appeared human-like, but as researchers examined it, nothing seemed to add up. Unlike the protruding, ape-like faces of earlier hominins, Rudolfensis had a strikingly flat visage, something not typically seen until much later in human evolution. With an estimated brain volume of around 750 cubic centimeters, it was significantly bigger than that of Australopithecus, our older evolutionary cousins. But was it big enough to place him firmly in the Homo genus? His jaw was massive, his molars unusually large. These features suggested a diet requiring powerful chewing, perhaps roots, tubers, or tough plant material. But here's the strange part. Such traits were more common in earlier pre-human species, not in Homo. Then came the most mind-boggling discovery of all. KNM ER 1470 was dated to 1.9 million years ago placing it at a time when multiple early humans were already walking the Earth. Homo habilis had been around for a while, and the first Homo erectus individuals were beginning to emerge. Rudolfensis didn't fit neatly between them. So, was he a missing link? A cousin species? Or had we completely misunderstood how human evolution unfolded? The debate was immediate and hasn't stopped since. Some researchers argued that Rudolfensis was simply a variation of Homo habilis. Others claimed he wasn't even a Homo species at all, but instead belonged to a different evolutionary branch. And as the decades passed, the mystery only deepened. So, what happened to Homo Rudolfensis? Why is his name not as well known as Homo habilis or Homo erectus? One possibility is competition. Around the same time that Rudolfensis existed, other human species were also evolving. Homo habilis, known for its crude tool use, and Homo erectus, the species that would eventually spread out of Africa. If these species were better adapted, smarter, more resourceful, or simply luckier, Rudolfensis might have been pushed to extinction. 
In an unforgiving world where survival was a daily struggle, even small advantages could mean the difference between life and death. But here's the frustrating truth. We don't know for sure. Unlike Homo habilis or Homo erectus, we have only a handful of fossils linked to Rudolfensis. Without more evidence, his story remains frustratingly incomplete, waiting for the next big discovery. And that leads to a mind-blowing possibility. What if a single undiscovered bone fragment buried beneath the African soil could rewrite human evolution? It's happened before. It could happen again. The mystery of Homo rudolfensis is far from solved. As scientific methods advance, so do our chances of uncovering the truth. New technologies, genetic analysis, isotopic studies, and advanced fossil dating are already helping scientists reconstruct the past with greater precision than ever before. Could they one day reveal where rudolfensis truly belongs? And here's where things get even more mind-bending. What if we've been looking at human evolution all wrong? What if Rudolfensis wasn't an ancestor at all, but a distant cousin, part of a forgotten lineage that lived alongside our forebears? What if human evolution wasn't a tree with simple branches, but a web, multiple species coexisting, interbreeding, and influencing each other in ways we've never imagined? Could there have been multiple intelligent human-like species shaping each other's evolution, sharing knowledge, and even interacting in ways we have yet to understand. One thing is certain, the past still holds secrets, and the answers to our deepest questions about humanity may still be waiting to be unearthed. So, what do you think? Was Homo rudolfensis a true ancestor of modern humans, or just an evolutionary side note? Did he shape our lineage, or was he simply a branch that broke off and disappeared? One thing is clear, history is still being written. Every new fossil discovery, every scientific breakthrough has the power to change everything we thought we knew about where we come from. And here's a surprising fact. 99% of people who watch this channel aren't subscribed. If you love unraveling the mysteries of history and evolution, hit that subscribe button and join our community. Because the next big discovery it could be just around the corner.